Hello everyone. Let me move on over here. We're back finally. Had a lot of travel ahead of us these last few days, but we're all settled in. Let me find my pen around here somewhere. I never know where I put that pen. I need to figure out where where I store it. But yeah, uh, while I'm looking for this pen, I'll just tell you a little bit about uh, what we've been up to. So basically, we've traveled to a different country for a little bit, and we'll be here for about a, a month and a half to two months, roughly. And then we'll be going back to the country we live in. Maybe going um, on break for a week in August. We'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, I'm a busy girl. I gotta travel, I gotta learn. The atrium AI doesn't want me to find my pin. It's telling me it doesn't want to look for it. Come on, Sonny. Be a little kinder to me. We've got a lot of drop frames for some reason, too. I'm going to have to... Wouldn't be a stream back to stream in unless there's scuff, right? Up through the roof. I can take a gander what that massive drop frame load was then, though. So. It was funny throwing a temper tantrum. He did not like being told what to do. Oh, well, because I asked her to find my pen! Go. Well, found it. No, it won't let me. There we go. There we go. Oh, too many pins. <laughs> too many cuts. Too many cuts. Too many pins. Too many pins. Here we go. Okay, now we're actually ready to do the art. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Let's start with some music. Make sure that's not too loud. Yep, that should be right. I'll keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't get weird. All right, and let's go back to this piece. We had started working on the actual headstones last time. We just need to go in. I can see here I need to finish painting in. That's got a harsh outline in it. And we need to put the texture on this stone. And then there are, of course, a bunch of other stones in the background. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Let me finish this obelisk here. Whoops, I'm not on a brush I need. Bring this down in size so I feel a little more confident in what I'm doing. There we go. No more weird outline there. Alright, let's come over here. 
for this pillar. And there was a speckle brush I'd used. From Calvin at Drifter Studios the last time. I need to... I think 27 was it. Yeah, that's looking about right. Let's lower this size. Yeah, that seems to be about the appropriate size. I'll just paint in the speckles. Lower that. I think 20 is good. And then we'll go do a light pass for the light green. With the 26. If I remember correctly, I'm going to turn that way down. I think 15% opacity is good there. Got a nice textured stone in now. And I just realized I didn't put shadows on the other stone. I didn't put shadows or light on the main stone there. Let's go back and do that real quick. Just real quick. Make sure it's above all these. Build a clipping mask. First things first, let's get the cheese planes light going on over here. Make sure I'm in the right brushes. I think we'll have something similar to this there About 30, I think, is right there. Then we're just going to grab a gray color here. Make sure that's on multiply and not on assisted. I need clipping mask. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I got to decide what kind of general light source. It seems like, um, Based on the shadows and stuff already in this picture, it is kind of coming from this direction. So with that in mind, we'll keep this side here light. And kind of get this side here. I don't know if I want shadow under her hand since it's like a ghost hand, you know? Let me check my frame rate. Yes, okay. Not great, but yes, passable. A lot better than whenever I first started streaming, that's for sure. Turn this down. And then let's come back to the stone we were working on earlier and get it shading in.
They're like the same gray tones. So we don't have to worry about changing the color. I'm not going to do a highlight layer like I didn't do it with the, the child because it's going to have fog so it's going to be a very diffused light kind of situation. I don't think there's going to be like any bright highlights on anything. Okay we'll come over to the monolith now and these typically don't have texture to them just going to turn off my sketch there. They, they are pretty smooth. Um, sometimes they'll have veins, but if you get a really good piece of marble, it's, um, nice and pure. But I think I look a little out of place if we leave it plain. So let's Let's give it some veins. Uh, I'm going to come down here to... One of these has a water effect. One of the base uh, brushes does. And I can never... You know what? I think I saved it somewhere else. Yeah, here we go. It also makes for a nice galaxy texture, so I had saved it in a different folder. <laughs> Make this multiply layer. Uh, okay, that's way too big. That's what's going on. We just clear this to be sure. We'll lower this down. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do. Let's grab our selection tool. Make sure. We've only got the stuff we're working with selected. Okay. Then I'm going to select this section here. Make sure I get this in the corner. thing where we paint it and then I'm going to skewer to match the perspective. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the, the triangle bit. Yep here. I'm not going to bother with this little sliver here. You're not really going to notice it if I paint it there anyway. Let me get this in the right alignment. About there. And I think that's actually the right opacity. We can see that texture from a little further away. Let me bring back my sketch layer. Turn it up so I can see it. Can we change this to the light color burn so I can see. Feed the stuff better. 
Okay, I think next we can do the indistinct gray blob stones behind everything. Make sure I have a nice darker gray. Make sure I'm on the right kind of brush. Tell if that's supposed to be a bush over there. We'll see. Bush. Okay, I am gonna add just a little bit of lines to this stone back here, I think, to give it some distinction. Maybe even that one over there. veil a bit so we're gonna make sure those lines match up there and then there's gonna be bushes around the base of this one so I'm not gonna worry about the lines Maybe I think we can start working on foliage. I'm going to group these. The group these theory. They're all stone. Then we're gonna have to have two different sections where there's some in front of the stones and some behind them. So actually, let's grab this one. Different kind of variation on the screen. Then I'm just gonna get some shape in. That one's in front. We're gonna have to kind of work around. Let me go ahead and turn off this line work. I'm 
Alright, let me grab a new color. Bring this down here. I'm gonna erase away, give it some shape. Sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise. Our housing situation is tiny. And as such, the wells are seen. You know how to do. the hedge hey welcome in if it ain't my favorite canola oil glob <laughs> hey drive how you doing i hope you've been having a great great uh day wherever you are in the world i'm in a little different place so uh my streaming time is going to be off for a little bit but we're still gonna have fun still gonna do art All that great stuff. Let me uh, let me get this in, and I'm gonna give you a shout out because I like to support my friends around here. For those of you who are not familiar, have a bit around the channel. Uh. Drev is our favorite semicircle in the side of the galaxy. Got it.
You you were right. The few you, I have a feeling your mic is muted. It was. I don't know how long that's been for. Have I not been talking this entire time you've been here? I've been trying to stand you. <laughs> no. Oh god, no. Why am I so bad at thinking? Okay, here we go. Go into the Discord to get the art. What I was saying is... Not just the second half, good. Okay, at least... At least there's that. I have been muted for an entire 30 minutes one time, so uh, it would not put it past me. But uh, I, I was going to show the beautiful semicircle version you drew of me. Just got to get into my Discord. He doesn't want me to. <laughs> okay. Discord is starting when it is finally started. I will. I will bring the beautiful semicircle onto the screen. Here we go. So how's your uh, corner of the universe been lately? I hope it's been going great. I hope all the art's been flowing freely and easily and all gameplays have been exciting and fun. Are you playing anything new recently? I'm still stuck on the same games I was like in August. I I move slowly. I move on Globian time. Too much photoshopping, but other than that, I've been on the photography scene. You know, Hamlet. Uh, took a photography class in college and really loved it. Got some really great pictures out of it. Made, you know, it's not art school for art classes unless you've made your teacher jealous and they've penalized your grade for it. <laughs> and what I mean by that, Ham uh, lived in the part of the country where in the United States there's these things called thunderheads and they're these giant massive clouds for storms uh and specifically thunderstorms and uh the teacher's like my greatest dream is to one day go out and take a picture you know a full picture of one of these massive clouds and during the during the class ham was able to get one just standing outside her backyard uh because she lived out in the country and so she's able to get a picture of one took it to class and he graded it gave her a b and his his reasoning, I could, I could show the picture on stream. His reasoning was um, everything else should have been photoshopped out of the picture. I think I think he's just jealous. Just a little jealous. But that's OK. OK, finally in the discord, moving up. We went on up. Here we go. You gonna let me let me do the thing? Let me just do this. the hoops I have to go through. There's probably an easier way. I'm just chronically fried in the doggin. Here we go. Here's the semicircle Olo. Isn't it just the best? I freaking love this thing. <laughs> it was one of the first things I posted into um, our fan art discord. It was one of the very first fan arts I had gotten. So it's near and dear to me. But I mean, look at this face. It's just an adorable, 
adorable picture. I love it so much. I'm gonna leave that up there for everyone to enjoy. That's by Grove Ocean, which you guys should go follow. And then I am going to locate this this picture of a cloud. I like the leg design on this one. It is a really cute leg design. They're just the right the right shape for everything. Okay, ironically enough, it's not in the folder labeled clouds. You notice a theme here? I or over organize folders so much where I don't know everything where everything is. I'm like, I'll know it because it's so organized. It is not. Slight arm loss, but other than that, I'd say it's one of the better half circles so far. Yeah, well, it's kind of accurate. If you haven't noticed, I ain't got no arms. <laughs> So, uh, it's not totally inaccurate. Let's see. Goodness, how many folders can one folder have? I'm like nine folders deep in this thing. Here we go, I found it! Heck yeah! Let's do it. Okay, uh, too big. Let me fit the screen. Okay, here is the cloud in question. This is the the post Photoshop nine folders. I told you I over organized <laughs> too much. OK, so here's the the cloud picture. Uh, Pam decided to leave in the, the power poles and stuff to give it a sense of scale of how just absolutely humongous these cloud formations can become. And uh, the, the teacher docked her points because she didn't Photoshop out the power lines and stuff. So... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was a decent enough, decent enough picture. Definitely worth more than a B. God, I wish I could find stuff like that in my area. It's a, it's a very unique type of cloud formation and it's um it's in a very selective area in the United States and in some other parts of the world so it's definitely not a phenomenon you're gonna see very often but uh there's just all kinds of grand stuff out there what kinds of things do you like to uh, take photographs of? I mostly trespass and invade old junkyards and abandoned places for my pictures. Ooh, interesting mystique intrigue. Uh, really, whenever Ham was doing it, she just took pictures of anything and everything. This um, was one of the nature things. Um, and there was, there's a bunch of the Sequoia National Park. Ham's been there a couple times. So just, just a lot of the Sequoia National Park over in California. But, um, so far I found a broken down truck down the street that has been there for God knows how long. Probably been there longer than some people on the internet have been alive. <laughs> let, me, let me get rid of this. Burp. Yes, I sure I want to remove. What other interesting finds? Or is it um, top secret? It's okay if it is.
Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, ever since we moved to our foreign country where we are living now, where I'm currently not at, um, but where we, you know, we usually are in, um, the camera got left behind. Have abandoned houses and structures up the street. Neat. Do you live in a more urbanized area then? Pam, whenever she's taking her pictures, she lived in a very rural area. But now we live in a country where abandoned buildings, at least in the part where we live, aren't a thing. The government usually takes care of them pretty quick. I live in the woods. Ooh. Pam's family used to live in uh, Maine in the United States, and that's the, the cowboy hat tip for people who are... The cowboy hat at the top of the, the map for people who maybe aren't that too familiar with what the United States looks like. And it is very foresty. And it snows a lot. And if you're not from there and you talk to the locals, they kind of tilt their head and they're like, you're from away, aren't you? My favorite thing, you're from away. <laughs> Let's get into the color. My second closest neighbor is over 150 meters away. That's, that's quite a bit. You're, you're way out there. No, oh, okay, I get, I could get a feeling for... So the first image I had in my head when you said abandoned buildings was for some reason... Like old shut down warehouses and stuff, but now I, I get a better picture of what you're... What you're taking in. All the abandoned structures. There are a lot of abandoned structures and rural places, at least in the United States. I can't speak for uh, everywhere, but um, there literally you'll find just a bunch of houses in the middle of nowhere, little ghost towns and stuff. I find sheds and houses. Yeah. <laughs> so. There's a lot of things that just kind of get forgotten. Like I've noticed in some other countries, they demolish anything that's not in use, but um, that's mainly in the city areas. If you go more rural, you can find old houses, storage things. And, uh, a whole bunch of uh, vehicles for some reason. If I go take a bus towards the big city, I can find a lot of abandoned construction sites, including wide open cranes. You know, totally uh, OSHA compliant, you know, abandoned cranes. As you do. I kind of like that, that little lumpus there. Let me erase this. And then I'll paint around it. There we go. Let's grab a tertiary color. Yeah, there was a stark difference um, in traveling in the um, the country we live in versus the the trip here. Uh, 
literally took a car ride. There's an entire section of the town that's just like ghost town now. It's pretty much all abandoned. And it's a it's a pretty bustling city. So for there just to be a whole section that's just kind of left to rot. So weird now. I'm making pasta and I forgot we got tomato sauce left. Oh no, you've got cans of uh, diced tomatoes or pure or um, stewed tomatoes. Because if you put those in a, like a food processor or a blender or you mash them up real good, you can make your own sauce. I'm going in the sauce boxes, shame. No, to me, circles don't belong in boxes. It should be roaming free in the wild, as God intended. Let me turn off the sketch and take a gander at the mess I've made. Okay, I can see a correction I need to make real quick. Or, if you got cheese, you can always make a cheese sauce. Some cheese, some like milk or cream. Cheese sauces are pretty easy to make. I think I'm going to cover this spot somehow with a plant. I'm already on this color, so let's just do this. Okay, yeah, I think that worked. Now we just gotta get in there and get some detail these these places uh, I think I'm gonna start with the fog first just so I'm not wasting time on things like I normally do again Calvin Drifter Studios um, Felted Watercolor Brush Pack got this nice texture mix we're gonna use I'm just gonna go and put these in the places I want the mist to be in. And then we're gonna go in with a soft brush behind them. Just the standard soft brush. They're a decent size. I think we'll have it a little lighter around our beautiful skeleton lady. And then I think I'm going to change this to a different kind of overlay. Maybe an add. So we can really get that texture coming through. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, now we can start putting in our details. Luckily, there's no highlights this time, so we can pretty much just go through. Go ahead and Put this off real quick. I can grab that color. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get a lot of detail. But we'll come in here and add some texture.
can I forget? These need to not be a clipping mask so we can get the foliage overlap a little. Mm, nope, don't like that look. Changed my mind. I changed my mind. News alert. My mind has changed. I'm still dropping rates like nobody's or frames like nobody's business. Let's take a look. Usually CPU is the culprit. That's not CPU this time. Hmm. I wonder if it is my interwebs. Really? You're just gonna among us me like that? Just out of the blue? <laughs> At least I think that's what it is. Hold on. My eyes. These little eye holes I have. Hey, Cryptic, welcome in. A little bit of a weird time. I'm working the pasta now. <laughs> Good. I hope you figured out um, a nice substitute for your sauce. Let me shout out Cryptic, because Cryptic is a cool person. Good alert, because my internet is being weird. Is it your internet? I am choppy. Nah, it's a walk now. Ooh, stir fry. Make sure this is nice and loud where we can hear it. Push off. Hey! One of the model streams. <laughs> oh, oops. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Get rotated on, sucker. At least all of them are weighted enough. For those of you who may not be familiar, Cryptic works on his own model and does a fantastic job over in Blender. And sometimes we get graced with those hasty Blender streams. But uh, when he's not being super talented, you know, doing 3D modeling, also playing amazing games. Right now, uh... I hope you enjoy your lurk, and I hope the internet issues subside. But thanks for stopping by. I always like seeing your face around here. Go. Top 10 reasons to make your own model. Financing. Yes, it is so much cheaper. <laughs> it's so expensive. I, I wouldn't know. Cam and I work on all the assets for the stream ourselves because money. So. I'll come in and turn this down. This is the wrong kind of color for these, so it's standing out a bit more. But I think that's fine. That's the incorrect shading. It's this way. That means I put the incorrect shading on this bush. Clear that up. I've gotten two models from Raffles and one extra as a... Uh... Oh, okay. Okay, from a friend. Nice! I put water in oil. Oh no! Are you safe? That's what I need to know. If not, stop. Call 911. Get baking soda. For those for those who may not be um, kitchen savvy, um, you should not put. I have developed grandma hands. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. 
Uh, for those of you who are not kitchen savvy, whenever you are uh, cooking with oil, adding water can be dangerous because it could make the oil splash out and because oil is flammable, it will travel through the water and the oil particles and start a fire. And it'll be a fire that can sit on surfaces and catch other things on fire. It can be very dangerous. So uh, always have baking soda or a fire extinguisher available. Do not put water on a, a stove fire because you can cause the fire to get bigger. Red curry. Ooh. Oh, no. I like both. Uh, go with red. Red's always tasty. Can't go wrong with red. Oh, I want... I want so badly to be able to eat food. <laughs> I don't have a mouth. But Ham always says that um, she enjoys curry with uh, garlic naan. And there's this really great place we could go to in the country we live in where the naan is just huge. Perfect for curry. Tasty garlic on it. Mm. What was I doing with my life? I was turning down this opacity. That's what I was doing with my life. But yeah, um, baking soda. Use baking soda on oil fires. Um, because it'll it'll cut the fire off from its um, sources of fuel. Do not use water on kitchen fires. Uh, so fire extinguisher or baking soda or sand. If you have sand handy in your kitchen for some reason. Or if you're cooking outdoors. Yeah. I always wondered why our fire extinguisher is in the toilet. Uh, you know what? In, in the foreign country we live in, the fire extinguisher is not directly in the toilet, but it is like out just just outside the toilet so it's like i i blame the spicy food yes it's for toilet based fire emergencies for our, um for when the curry is too hot <laughs> but it is that is weird to me like the fire extinguisher there should be at least one in the kitchen just because that seems like the place the fires are most likely to occur but um, it's a relatively small house, so I'm gonna add more water to the oil. Careful, don't get granny hands again. Yeah, we like the two countries are complete opposites almost, and so now we're in a place where. We went to the gym the other day, uh, yesterday afternoon, and all of the fire extinguisher cubbies were empty. There is not a fire extinguisher anywhere in this facility. And we know that because, uh, you know, you wipe down the equipment after you're done working out to be a kind, kind gym goer for your fellow gym goers. And, uh, they just put the paper towels and this antiseptic spray bottle in the empty fire extinguisher cabinet. So, yeah, not exactly in the safest part of the world. I clicked the wrong thing again because I got gilly brain. There we go. Am I on the wrong? Yeah, I'm on the wrong plant. Here we go. Uh, let me see. It's been like an hour. Let's do... Let's do a stretch and hydrate. Do a nice stretch. Then we're going to do a nice quick hydrate.
I said a little thirstier than I thought. Kind of, kind of to double dip in the mister there. All right. Back to work, art slave. Gotta work hard for the muses. Remember my shadow continuity. You know, I'm definitely going to be one of those. Um, you know, if I ever become famous enough, I'm going to be one of those people who needs a continuity team to keep me on track. Like George Lucas. I know that's like the wrong placement of the shadow. Why am I doing that? Because what else do I got to do? Let me bring this up. Okay, I've got all the the parts, the flowers. Oh, that's right, this bouquet. Go ahead and turn this down. Let me get back into my pins. And then these roses were white roses. The right white roses, a little yellow. They're a little yellowy. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna come out and say it. They're a little yellowy or pink. Which one do I want? I want the pinkish one. We'll do the pinkish one. Too saturated. Bring that down a bit. There we go. Man, my my little gilly brain's just filled with so much 80s rot. I, <laughs> I'm painting these roses and Rose on the Grave comes on in my head. Baby! <laughs> no. You know?
We're gonna see where else it's mostly lilies. So come back if I need to. But I think that I think there's just a rose behind here. Behind this lily, so we'll paint it in real quick. <laughs> lilies! Kind of the same color. I'm gonna make the lilies a little darker just for the sake of being able to tell them apart. They do have a more vibrant stripe to them in the middle. Can I? A little more. A little more. General shape then. This one's kind of behind. Out of mind. That may be it for the lilies. I think for baby's breath, I'm gonna take a, a cop out. Let's get a splatter. Let me see how big these are. Yeah, there's two spread out that way. exactly the ones I wanted. Oh, too big. Way too big. Way too tiny. Just perfect. Perfect. I need to make sure these are white, though, because... They just look pink in comparison. Okay, um, then we'll get down here to the green bit. Like that. Go back to my brushes. I give some shot to these. Maybe express over here. Not that anyone's probably going to be paying that close attention, but I'll know. And that's enough. Alright, let's get 
the blob that is this foliage up here. Should this ribbon be? I might get an off white. Now that I've got the green in there, I can see all the places that my lilies need help in. Help us, mother. We are shriveled and worn. this up a bit. I also need to fix up some of these rows. Not too bad, not as bad as the lilies were. Oh. Okay, let's get some details in these places now. Start with our our detail right here. These beams. Shading. Shading down here. And a little under here. Maybe a little in the Now for a ribbon, I'm just gonna grab a gray because multiply to snap work on white layers. Oh, 
Want to multiply kind of back into my shading size range. Turn down a bit. We're going to be in this area. Underneath the, on the underneath part of this ribbon here. Way. we're already hearing cicadas here in this part of the country we're in it's strange to me hearing them this early into the year where ham originally lived cicadas were definitely a late summer thing So hearing them in April has been a real experience. I think I'm going to manually hand darken this. There we go. in this one because I want it. This bouquet is mostly greenery and that would not be the case. It'd be mostly flowers, but 
I don't have the energy to be drawing that many, many flowers. I think that's a perfectly okay bouquet. We group them. There we go. What this what this do? Fair layer I forgot about. Seems about right. Alright, let me do a shrinkus. Make sure. Got everything that I wanted to get in. Okay, it's got all the beats. It's got a beat. Let me think. If there's anything else I want to add to this. I think I need to add maybe some kind of radiant. Maybe behind the mist where it gets darker let me come over here to soft brush again soft brown brush do one of these maybe do a color burn Yeah, that does help a little. I think for our dress, we find no. I think I'm going to do duplicate, do an add, get a bit of a blur, give her a bit of a glow. I'm going to merge these down. I don't know why they're separate to begin with, but there we go. like it like so it adds a little bit of light to her you know these ones can need to be lower actually below this layer here but no you you not clipping mask there but you clipping mask there we go if I'm missing a part of that uh that lace okay now it's in this one okay. I got all those together then need to add something to the ground that's what's going on the ground is very flat the very flat let's go back to the background Here we go Yeah, 
shadow underneath the girl. We won't do shadow under the skeleton lady because she's kind of a ghost. Do a little bit of a shadow for the okay. We'll do some shadow for the stone. need to have that shape extend completely off screen. I don't think you'd actually be seeing the round of that. And here the shadow situation for the big stone gets a little iffy because there, we got a light source here aside from the primary light source. So let's get a primary shadow in, I guess. But then we'll kind of have it do one of these. Yep, I forgot to close it off. I knew it the second I went to drop it, I was like, oh no. And then let's get the cheese color onto the grass a little bit. be on the right layer. Yeah, I think we could bring this in a little. Okay, the ground's not as flat anymore. I want to get some texture or something to it. Let's see what the foliage brush does. Do a color burn. Let me turn it up. Do a little man again stuff over here. Don't mind me. I'm figuring things out as I go. I'm learning. nice let me go over here with a softer eraser and get rid of this hard edge I need to increase the size there much better much better here we go just to give that grass <laughs> texture That may be it. Can't really think of anything else. Maybe I want to obscure the background a little more. I don't want the stone taking away 
significance from our skeleton lady. So, let me figure out what to do with that. Negative information in my noggin. I think what I'm gonna do. We'll merge it down. We'll blur it. Nope. Blur. Just slightly. Not like a Claritin commercial, but just kind of. So it's fuzzy. Just a little fuzzy. Out there maybe do the same to the obelisk in the back just so we can get a little more focus let me also over here where all our effect stuff is happening. Let's get a layer above here. Get a black black. And go to soft brushes. Do one of these around the edges. And more in here. And let's put this one above. This one goes above the mist and everything else. to erase this in a way. Let's just clear this and skip over and see it. Here we go. here I can kind of get in a more more darkening around these stones here kind of like a lamp light effect there that's fine kind of directs you where you need to go let's give these edges a little bit of a blur like so that definitely helps um, to before and after. Like so. Let's see, we still got uh, some time. We can start our next thing. Which I didn't expect to get this finished, but Here's our finished piece. By the way, I might have accidentally clickbaited a bunch of people. <laughs> so, uh, a movie called Puss in Boots was really popular um, over the last couple of months. And I posted a video titled Draw Drawing Death in a Dress. And I might have accidentally clickbaited some Puss in Boots fans over to our our uh, video because the moment I started drawing they all bounced they're like no this isn't what I signed up for <laughs> I came here for a wolf I by this okay there we go oh yeah I did another mines library sketch I didn't like how the original one turned out it's still too too vast I think but I was sketching out a thumbnail for maybe 
one where it's a little closer up. But we'll leave that alone for now. I can start on one of the other ones, or I can go back to the Mines Library rework. Not quite sure yet, but I do want to stretch and hydrate. So, since I'm sure of that, let's do that. <sighs> Here we go. And let's get some water. Nice. Okay. But since we're going in order, or I would like to go in order, We'll, uh, I think we'll just go back to the Mines Library rework. I kind of did a really, the really rough sketch. And now I'm working on the second sketch draft. Which is not the, the final line work, but. That's a little bit clearer message. I guess you can see. Let me make her eager. She's supposed to be like here. Really, the dress needs to be like out here. Oh, I need to turn that eraser back up. I think that it'll be about right. Let me. Yep, this is the grid. Let me erase away that. A little bit of a crease here where the bodice meets the skirt. had one. What was I doing? This is a perfectly acceptable. Yeah, this one was perfect. Why? Why was I making another skit? I must uh forgot about this one. Okay. We'll work off of this one. I guess we can start with the background. Let me get the the blue dress color. Got the wrong. There we go. Palette. Let's get the blue dress color. Let's go to harmony. And get. Kind of like a complimentary color going on. And this one could just be the whole the whole background. Let's 
get our detail lines in. I'm going to do an oval. Kind of edit it into place. Kind of where I want the curve. I think about there. Then we're just going to erase away this bottom part. Then let's get another oval. I'm going to get this into place. I think about there is fine. And the surface we're sitting on. Maybe I'll go back. We'll cushion that. We'll make it nice and cushion. Get our shelf lines. Let me think about. So since this is head on, we will see the full lip of this shelf. We just get it the appropriate width. Same here. Okay. So I can already tell I'm drawing on a walk. I, I will fix it in a moment. Let me do a new layer. This brace will be entirely head on too. We'll use it to frame the child. Make sure it's roughly the same width. I'm going to go erase these intersection lines. Same with this one. Erase away the intersection line. I'm going to merge these. And we'll get a new layer. And we need to think about how much shelf we're going to see. So for this one, since it's up high, we'll be seeing less of the shelf part. If the focal point is the chin here, probably. Let me make a a guide layer. Which is normal. This is where our focal point is going to be. Okay. Just kind of get some guides out.
There's also a secondary vanishing point in it, the back of the cubbies. Let's do that. I'm gonna grab the yellow. this shelf behind her head it's not gonna get seen but this one definitely just gonna be like a sliver gotta make sure this curves This one here is more accurate. I think this one's showing too much. Oops. Like this. Clear. Okay, and then maybe themselves are going to be darker on the inside. She's covering. one because the head doesn't quite take up the entirety of this square. Needs to be more part. Okay. 
this one. Maybe 30 as well. And we're almost out of time. Let me do group these. Get rid of that. Turn this off real quick. Let me. Unwonkify this um, piece. Continue this piece next time. Didn't take us too long. It's a pretty simple one, and since I've already worked on a similar concept before and did all the pre-work for the books and stuff, it'll be okay. 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 Let me get over here. We do pause there. Let me put my pen away into a place where I will never find it again, per usual. Yep, let me, whoop, let me get into a place where you can see my face all big and beautiful like. There we go. So yeah, that's all the time we have for today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, just get in to hang out and do art again. It's nice to get back into some kind of routine, even though we're in a strange new world. But, uh, yeah, I had fun. Tomorrow, we'll be back with Cozy Grove, and, uh, we'll see if we want to do Little Wood or Dome Keeper. But, uh, we'll definitely be playing games, being cozy, and having fun. So, that's it for today. Thank you everyone for stopping by and until next time, have fun space friends. Wait, preemptive return. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot things. We should go raid someone. I forgot my etiquette. Forgive me. Let me let me pull up someone we can raid. Ooh, Jack's still live. Hopefully. 
Hopefully not. Ending soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Jack is also doing uh, art. So let's go stand. You want to raid along with me? I've got a little message here. That you can copy and paste. But for real now, we will see you tomorrow. By the way, your Discord panel is actually just a link to bring your channel server that isn't available. Okay, I will get that fixed. I thought I had it fixed, but I'm a little gelly brained. Um, but that should be fixed within the hour. Definitely. Uh, let me go ahead. Since you're asking about it. I think I have an invite leak somewhere. You can use this one and I'll definitely get that uh, that link in the about page fixed up all nice and proper. Okay, so we're going to go raid our friend Jeff and uh, as per usual, let's uh, give this space friend some super support.